these are the faces really behind the bipartisan opposition uh, to President Obama, Speaker Pelosi's health care reform plan. When we talk about this reform plan uh, being an attack on small business, these are the individuals that are going to feel the brunt of an 8% payroll tax. Uh, when we say that a surtax on those making over $200,000 a year will hurt job creation, the, these are the individuals uh, that derive their income from small businesses that will have now added costs to hiring anyone. Uh, and that's really the purpose that we're here, is to talk about what they're sensing may be in store for them if this proposal passes, uh, and to hear from them as to what could really work. Commodities have gone up. We're making no profits whatsoever. I've had to uh, downsize my crew tremendously. I've had to watch my raises. Uh, I, I do provide 100% health insurance coverage for my management, my salary managers. My hourly employees can't afford it, whether I pay par partial or not. They don't want it, kind of the same as your vote. Yeah. They just can't afford it, and they'd rather have that money going towards something else. And uh, if I have to pay a 8% payroll tax, it's going to basically just kill me and my children's future that I have lined up for them, hopefully. We're in an industry that is a kind of an anomaly because it's a, uh, it's a uh, high employee, low profit industry, the fast food industry. So uh, we have a, a, a payroll of $40 million. And we have to pay an 8% payroll tax. That gets us to over $3 million. Um, fortunately, our company doesn't make anywhere near $3 million. So we're not sure how we would pay for it. I'm very concerned about the quality of care and access to care. I'm a two-time cancer survivor. I come from a family of cancer victims and survivors that have lived long and hard because we've had a great system that's taken care of them. We have many employees with health care problems. We have children with special needs. They're getting great care, but it's specialized care in the system. I don't mind, and we don't mind paying for that good quality care to get them that access to the care because it gives them a better life. It also makes them and their families more productive employees. And the parking of employees in the system, these additional gatekeepers, the inability to get this care, we think there's a lot of value there in our system, and we're happy to pay for it. So we don't want to pay the surcharge because we can't afford it. But we also don't want to pay the surcharge and then have the access to care and productivity and quality go down. We ought to be about a health care reform bill that not only accomplishes lower costs, better access, and quality care, but it does not threaten and harm the job creators and the engines of our economy that you see here sitting at this table. If Congress and the President aren't doing something to create jobs, then they're not doing their job.